Welcome back everybody to some more pirate building here in Bluebirds Bay in our single player survival world of course and what we are doing today I just I'm just getting into it because we are on episode 48 48 is if if we can do the maths together is two episodes away from 50 and 50 is a special number because that is a world tour episode so we're getting super super close to that magical number where we get a world tour world download and it's gonna be great. We're gonna have a, a bunch of fun just going around here, checking what we've done the past 25 episodes. Today though, is completely different. And today is a building episode and it's gonna be probably one of the coolest building episodes that I think we're gonna do for, uh, well, have done in a while, I think, in, in my opinion, because I think it's gonna be really, really neat just going around building something that is broken. Now, the reason, by the way, I've, I've done this little piece yet. The reason that we are gonna build something that's broken and why it's so cool is, uh, well, why I know it's gonna be so cool goes all the way back to my very first survival world that we were building on YouTube Which we built a destroyed village and I built it broke it and really the whole idea of it actually that's the wrong way It's this one here There we go. So now we've got those rocks in there So we're gonna be building a bridge across there by the way But the whole idea of the village was that we built something that was broken and it is kind of strange to build a broken thing But what it adds to a build is not just a normal building not just a house It's a broken down house not just a bridge. It's a broken down bridge Little little things like that actually tend to make a massive massive difference So that is what we are doing today. Now. Let's just go over here. I want to kind of uh, let, let's step it out this way over here Okay, that needs to go Well, actually should we yeah, we should probably go the, the center in there like that so that we So that we get a, a good a good bridge thing. So what we're gonna do here We're gonna build a basic bridge We're gonna break a basic bridge and then we're gonna decorate it a little bit But there's a few other things because as I say uh, the now why the why the relevancy of of episode 50 in episode 48 well you know why? Uh, because in the last episode, I said I'm going to try and finish as much of this stuff as possible before episode 50 so that you guys can go walk around in the world update file and uh, and uh, check what's going on, you know? Have a have a real look at what, what this place looks like. So that is what we have got in, our, in mind currently, and we'll see how we go with it. Let's just go across here first uh, and do that. So I'm going to be doing a bit of the, this here. We could put in the well, we could put in the sewer, we can put in a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, I don't know where we're going to go with besides this bridge, but uh, I, we are going to do a few different things. We'll see how we're going at the, at the, the time we get to them. What I'm, what, I'm, what I'm feeling will be good today. So let's go down here, take a little bit of a, a step back and have a look. Okay, so the bridge goes out this way. We'll just continue it over there. And then I want to put in a little, like, uh, a bit of support. We're going we're gonna to keep it along the same block palette. I don't know if we can stay the same style. Uh, but it's not actually very important that we do the same type of bridge. Uh, in terms of, for instance, like a, a suspension bridge and... What, I don't know what I don't know what this one's actually called, but you know, you know the different bridge types uh, We don't necessarily have to keep with the exact same ones between these bridges because of course uh, this this one's a diagonal It's it's gonna be very very difficult to pull the same the same stuff right across. Did I get rid of the tree in here? Yeah, that was the one I just did. Okay, that's fine. Well, we've, we've got some okay. We've got some spare <laughs> Spare leaves anyway, so can we make this jump? We should be able to and we do because of course, that's, uh, that's that's some skills that we got right there. All right, let's go around this way and uh, put this in. There we go. One of the, the only jumps I'm probably going to make. <laughs> the easiest one of them all. So let's go up here, check this out, walk across. Not quite wide enough. Uh, let, let's get that one there. Okay, so we'll put one extra block out here just to make it a little bit more chunky than what it was before. We are out of... Planks, of course we are, but let's let's just see. Is that wide enough? We can compare it to the other bridge. I think that's wide enough. It's not going to be exactly as I thought it would be. I was I was planning on kind of going with the, a diagonal in the same respect, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's get those. Hey, you know what? We'll probably just end up making our own ones. Those can go and despawn somewhere. We'll probably just end up making more planks here anyway. So let's go out this way now and check it out with. That seems, that seems all right with compared to what we have to compare to over here, which is three. Yeah, that I think that's fine. So the next thing now, I'll just put this all the way across. 
let's work out a good way of supporting this with some of the blocks we've already got. In fact, probably even, <laughs> I just went to go get those, but we probably don't even need those. So we'll put in some of these just around here. Cause I know for a fact, cause before I, before I started this build, I was thinking ahead, you see, and I was thinking, let's get the blocks that we used in the last bridge ready so we know exactly what blocks we had and what we need to use and these ones were on there like that and the reason for these is so that we can have a half slab we can put in a full block for instance a uh, one of these like this and it'll be on the same level so we just have to do something like that and that's why that hides it so well with the the little the little bit of a, a double layer thing there so let's get these and go back up here there we go and then what we need to do is we need to put in a good old support. And I think this bridge should be looking, let's just go down like there. I hope I don't, is this going to be on top of that kelp or the coral? No, it's good. Okay. So let's go up and check this out. And I know I did one of those. So let's see the moment of truth. If this, it, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it being quite basic. Yeah, that's all right. What we can do is we can maybe put a support piece there and another support piece going into there. Break it down. Yeah, that's actually looking quite good. It looks like we are gonna have to go a little bit wider here. That just it just isn't working when these aren't on the same level. This was actually what I was trying to trying to describe a bit earlier was the fact that this was uh, this was gonna be like think of it this way. This goes two blocks like that there and there and then those ones go there and there just it doesn't end up going too well for us on these diagonals this is actually why diagonally like building on diagonals is one of the hardest things you're better off sometimes here's here's like the the jancy hint of the day which really i mean whatever <laughs> but uh it, it's uh, really if, if ever you're thinking of building on a diagonal consider building on a slightly off angle like just a little bit less than a diagonal for instance maybe maybe go like one block out and then like well take it this way if this goes in this direction maybe slightly angle it to that direction it makes your life so much easier and the build looks so much better that's just like my thought uh, don't don't uh <laughs> don't do what i'm doing take it that way even though i am going on a diagonal i think the 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 reason this one will work and it's a very i think valid reason is because this is a bridge and it's a broken bridge and it's half a bridge so it's only going to end up being a little piece and like the whole reason i put that there is just so we, we get the whole view of what the bridge would have been before the bridge is is nothing anymore so there yep i think going out to about here actually is is more or less maybe maybe we'll get rid of that here so this is this is like the breaking part then once we've broken i think we'll do the the bridge detailing i think that's the the more important stuff so get rid of that and there and there okay and now this is where we'll put in the real cool like uh what, what would you call it the the really cool support that's it support of the bridge so we'll go down here and no not that one out there and out there perfect okay th that'll work just get that little bit of a shape there then what we need to do is go put the other side in but we won't do that just yet what we'll do is we'll go over here and uh, and get some support in here. So what do we do for that? Maybe maybe I could continue this one on. Just something a little bit like that over there. Perhaps that could add a little bit of stuff. And then what we can do is we can get the details in. So jump up here. That's good. We'll put the other one in. Yeah, that's some good support there. Now let's go in for details. Uh, I've also made up my mind on what we are going to be doing here because we've got ourselves that extra project that I said today. I want to get ourselves closer and closer to episode 50 being almost done. If not done, if, if everything goes well, uh, we'd, we'd pretty much call this area like a complete area uh, because I don't want it to go too much crazier than what it is right now. It's already looking... I think pretty darn good. It seems like you guys are all loving the pirate area, and uh, I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be cool just to to get a build complete and and move on to some other builds and then come back to this when we have some new ideas and all that sort of stuff. So feel free to feel free to leave whatever is on your mind for this build. I can still add stuff in. Do not worry. We we can still we can still do it. Uh, so now what we can still do as well is create ourselves a a crafting table, and then we also need to make ourselves a, another bunch of these oh there they are i get so lost we, we need like a little a little extra inventory slot right there just like that 
so we can we can see where, wherever our uh, wherever our offhand stuff is. There we go, thirty-two. That's uh, that's a good amount. I don't think we're we're gonna need any more. Just add a bit of this in, get some textures, and then the magical 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 stuff is gonna happen. Maybe some broken pieces in like that. And what I was thinking, because of course we need to make this level here uh, the same level is like as that there. So it seems like it's all this thick. So fill in all the slabs like this. Okay, we are on land. Then we don't have to keep bobbing up and down. Something like that. We'll, we'll get the rest of the stuff in a little bit later. So if we do something there, there, and... Here's a trap door. In fact, we could we could probably yeah we could this could be our first our first thing. So having this trap door over here, for instance, we could maybe make it look as though it's just fallen down like that, or maybe not that one, but <laughs> make it fall look like pieces are falling off like this. Maybe a piece over here like that. Yeah, that looks like stuff is is coming off the edge there, just slowly uh, coming off and and. Falling and stuff like that. So maybe maybe a piece there. We could go up here, put another one, and this is just going to be rubble because I'm I'm kind of thinking what what does it look like? This bridge got broken. I'm I'm thinking. I, I mean, it would be cool to say a boat came through, but I'm I want to see. Do you know, I want this whole area to have kind of been run, overrun by the pirates? So perhaps this bridge is going to have been blasted. How about that? It's been some TNT went off, blasted it there. In fact, if I had some TNT, I'd be doing it right now. So maybe something there, a few things on the ground. That one actually kind of looks a bit silly. Looks a bit stupid, just kind of <laughs> sitting there for no reason. There we go, just some pieces. We'll, we'll add some more debris around the place. But that over there, I think is looking a lot better than uh, nothing, at least, over there. So let's break a, a bit more on the top. Over here, can I get around? Down walls, getting in my way. Uh, there, there, there. We'll just keep this with right now so we know how how wide we have to continue in fact we've, we should have enough do we not have it did i seriously not pick up a single one of those or we just used all of our slabs perfectly on the last ones okay so we should have enough i think to just continue on without having to make some slabs for a while but i want to see what this looks like on the map before we overcommit to where it all is right now before we start decorating a little bit more than what we have here so there there and there and i actually i just realized we did not discuss what, what I had in mind about completing for this episode, for the episode 50 stuff. So one of the cool things I was thinking of doing... Okay, there we go. I told you I was only going to get one jump right today. The One of the things I was thinking was to start going with the, the underwater stuff around here. We've got this piece here. We may as well continue it over there. Get this whole terrain piece between the island and the next part of land completed. I think that's going to be a, a good idea. And also, over here, look at this. It's lacking. We don't have anything on this side. We need something pretty over there. So that's what I think we'll do. Just to make this feel so much more, like, what would be the word? Immersive? I think that's the word. More immersive. That's it. And then I can always go ahead and do the well and stuff outside of outside of the, the, the video. In fact, I've got a question about the well. And that is... Would the well have a cover over it? Will it have like a roof? Or would it be just an open area well where where you could just look down? In, in my mind, it seems like it should be just a, an open area that you can look down. We can make it wider than this. But I feel like it might not look as cool. That's the only worry. That's my only thought with that. It might, might just not look as cool as I'd hope it would. So how's this looking over here? That there, that's good. In fact, I just realized what I was doing and I was actually wanting to go into into where we just went <laughs> and that was to see what it looks like on the map so we've just gone and done an unnecessary loop but go back here and do a quick map update then other side of the bridge update map like that and that that looks pretty cool that actually you know what this map is is looking amazing with the exception of this piece here which we said we're just gonna remove a few blocks uh, add maybe a bit of spruce in there to look a bit cool on the map. You won't even notice it from outside, I don't think. But it's going to make this whole place look so lively. I'm loving it. Oh boy, I have done so much work outside there and it is looking amazing. I think what we have to do before we go any further, because I've gone ahead, I've taken out... Well, we've, we've completed the bridge. That bridge is going to thicken up a lot right now. We're going to see this all around here, up until there. Probably actually up until there. Looking amazing. So first one, actually let's do the top one because that's a little bit 
Did anything change? Very, very little. Okay, now, bam. And the suspense is killing me. That is looking amazing. Look at that. You can even see the, the rubble coming around there, the the uh, little bits and pieces that have fallen off the bridge. Man, that is that is so cool. Think of it. When we start getting the paths going through here, we start getting trees, our own forest. There is a lot of stuff all on our way out from here. This uh, this map view is, is something so different for me, but it's something amazing. It's something uh, very interesting, at least, uh, to, to look at. It's just something completely different for... Uh, like building purposes for me at least I, I love it I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to do that I, I think it's really really neat uh, but here we go look at that looking really really good I mean we've got a few little pieces but starting to get ahead we've got our, our very rocky terrain I'll try to keep in fact before we <laughs> I mean I did just build the other side of the bridge but that's not not quite as exciting as as this stuff over here what I've tried to go for is is a rocky merging in with a bit of, of dirt and uh, grass just to to get these slowly moving to a different biome because we don't want to keep it all tropical going out that way i think that way we're going to start going into more of a woodland forest we'll, we'll see how we go in fact but uh, i think i think we'll go into that sort of a thing and also while we're here let's just pop a few flowers down I've, I've brought them with us but we haven't actually done anything with them i've done in fact this land here this has all been bumped up so there's just quite a few things around the place that uh that are, are brand new so they need a little bit of a little bit of color and a little bit of love so maybe something around there and yeah we've got some of these peonies and stuff like this we'll, we'll just drop them in there and well, I guess we can't place anything in there. This will this will eventually get done. But man, it's looking so darn good. So get these in. Maybe the magical bone meal as well. No. Uh, there we go. We got it. So bone meal in there and there and like that. And break. Break a few. It's the, the biggest bit to bone meal is not going over the top. Breaking a few little pieces. Make it look a little bit more natural. And... There, let's go. Let's go check this out now. But tell me what you guys are thinking about this. I'm, I'm really loving the look of this. This little bit of terrain changing. It, it's the, the details around the sides of builds that really make the big differences. And yeah, I, I think I have to get rid of a bit of, bit of, bit of that stuff there. But it's looking pretty darn good. I mean, get a few custom trees in here. We'll, we'll continue on a bit more with like this, this stuff here. I'm not gonna count that as custom terrain because that's just what it's been left with. But the edge definitely is a lot better than it was before. And not only that, we even went into filling in. As I said, we'd do this. We did that one there. Uh, but we've done the underneath pit bits here, and and they're just as good. In fact, uh, the the kelp is also uh, what is this? Not kelp. Seagrass. Seagrass is also amazing. We don't need quite as much of it. And kelp, where are you? There you are. We'll, we'll put a few of these in so that we can we can have some different looking things. That doesn't stick out. No, it doesn't. But that's right. We'll just put a few of these down and see if they grow and just make the place look a little bit more different. But overall, look at this. Go through here. Wow. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm, I'm loving today's build. I'm loving this whole build in general, actually. I'm looking very, very forward to the, the world tour. But let's go find... I'm sure I've got a few boats around here. Let's go find a boat. We'll do a little trip around the island, get get our whereabouts, and, and look at it from a few other angles, because this is where the, the fun fun stuff happens. You know, we've been working for literally a, a very long time, months, <laughs> on this, and now it's starting to slowly but surely go from nothing to, uh, to something, certainly. Look at that. So cool. This piece here, as we go in. Awesome. Actually, I'm going too fast. Why am I, why am I like... Control. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta fix up this piece underneath here, and I've just realized I'm pretty sure that over there is a light and an acacia trapdoor. But this over here is a piece of andesite. So on the list of things to do. I'm probably gonna forget that. So if I do, call me out on it, alright? Uh but there we go. Go around this way, the the sewer. Yeah, that's good. That's a, that's a neat little walk around it at least, just to get the to get it how it's how it's going into the ocean and how it's going from the ocean into into land. Our next part is over here where I want to do a massive custom biome, underwater biome, right around here. It's not going to be something crazy, but it's going to be something at least neat, neat looking, and that's going to be all the way down there. But hey, today we've done a little bit. Ooh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we found where we are going to be storing the treasure. <laughs> okay, yes, we have definitely found where we're going to store the treasure. All natural uh, little crevices. Can I go in here? 
Okay, neat, neat. Okay, let's not get ourselves lost. Oh, we can get out here. Wonderful. So I think we found ourselves our buried treasure. Okay, well, <laughs> that's, a, that's a neat little discovery. You can see my boats piling up. Oh man, I've really got to do something about that. But for today, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I've really had a great time in this episode. Uh, let me know if you, what you guys think about the build and, and where what, what else to do in this area, of course. And I will see you very, very soon.